guys welcome back to my channel this video is gonna be my third update for my project pan 19 in 2019 this project is a rolling project pan uh, I finished up a few items so far uh, well since last or before last update last update I rolled in some new items and now this time I'm also gonna be rolling in some other items uh, without further ado let's go ahead and get started uh, I'll try to be in the same order as I've been so far in this project just to keep track um, okay the item that I had in last time for number one was this Peter Thomas Roth Camu Camu Pow Power C times 30 I was gonna say powder uh, I finished this guy I was so happy to finish it um, the day that I finished it I was like hmm it's gone uh, anyway, so this guy is out and in its place I am rolling in this Origins Drink Up Intensive Overnight Mask. Um, this is definitely older product. They have changed the packaging since I've purchased this guy or they've changed the packaging. It's no longer in this packaging. But I really, really like this guy as a moisturizer at night. So that's what I'm going to do with it. I'm not going to use it as like an intense oh, like mask. I'm just going to leave it as an overnight moisturizer. And today this guy weighs 75 grams. Hey Luna. Moving on. Um, I'm just going to start doing that. <laughs> uh, the second item that I had in my project I had, oh, okay, it was a body lotion. I had this Dream Angels Heavenly Angel Touch Lotion. I think I was over here during the last update or when I filmed the last update, I finished it. Since then, I actually was gonna roll in a different um, lotion. I started using that and I'm pretty close to finishing it. So I was like, yeah, it's not, it's not really exciting. So today I decided to roll in um, this is pretty much brand new. I've barely used this guy. It, this is really old. Um, this is a Victoria's Secret there. Not Victoria's Secret. It's very, well, yeah, it is by Victoria's Secret. This is the very sexy dare body lotion. Um, today this guy weighed 200 gram, so it is pretty new. I don't know if I'll be able to finish it because it's very scented, like a strong scent. You don't need a lot, but I'm gonna just work on it. Again, this is the, the whole, this whole project 19 and 2019, I've been wanting to just move out as many open products in my collection as possible, especially the older products. I wanted to use them, roll them out, and then roll other ones in, just to kind of like keep my collection a little bit fresher. And this is definitely old. I would like to use as much as I can out of it. And then, I don't know, maybe I'll roll it into 20, 2020, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how much progress I'll be able to make with this. Um, I just really need to use it. It's, again, it's older. I do like the scent, but um, I need to move it out. Okay, for number three, I had an eyeliner, and that was the Rimmel Scandal Eyes Eyeliner in the shade as brown. Um, this guy is getting super tiny. It still works really, really well. Um, it's pretty creamy. I love it in the waterline. It doesn't wear off throughout the day. It doesn't smudge. It does, like, it does the kind of smudging that I like because I like to put it in the waterline. I like to put it right under the waterline and smudge it out. So I really like that about it. Um, I, I love this shade, this brownish shade. So... Um, this guy's still going. I haven't measured or I did not measure when I started the project. So it is what it is. I'm going to continue to use it until it's completely gone. Okay, for number four, I did have a perfume in there. And I had this, um, this little one by Yves Rocher. I finished this guy. I'm so happy I actually finished it today. Today was the last time I used it. Um, not sure how much it weighed last time but there was still some product in it i finished it today and i'm gonna roll a different perfume in its place and i figured i should might as well like roll in the same perfume as the body lotion double up the layer you know double up the scent and again this is by victoria's secret this is the very sexy dare i bought it at the same time i got the lotion so it is older um i haven't used much of it it is to here I'm not gonna be able to mark the bottle I don't want to mark the bottle so I went ahead and weighed this and it weighs 246 grams today this is like perfect for this time of the year the same with the lotion they're a little bit like warmer scents so fall winter kind of scents so I'm pretty excited to be using this guy again 
I don't know if I'll be able to finish it. My goal is just to make as much progress as I can out of this guide, the same as the lotion. All right, moving right along. For number six, I did have um, this Maybelline Fit Me uh, pressed powder in the shade that I had was medium buff. And I have a shiny pretty pan. This guy's completely gone. Really happy I was able to finish it. I did kind of miss it right when I finished it. I was like, hmm, okay. Kind of missed that product. Um, but that's the point of like project painting. Again, this was one of my older powders. I finished it. I'm really happy I finished it. And in its place, I am going to roll in this Physician's Formula Translucent. Uh, airbrushing pressed powder. Um, this is a little, I mean, it's kind of newer. I haven't used it too many times. It still has the ridges on the, the actual powder itself. I, my goal is not to finish this. I know I'm not going to be able to finish it in three months. I mean, I do use powder daily, but I don't like to use the same powder every day. So it would be nice to hit pan before the end of the year, but I don't know. Uh, it's currently at 64 grams. I just want to make as much progress as I can. Again, if I hit pan, that would be great. And then we'll see. Maybe this is another product that rolls into next year. Who knows? Haven't made up my mind on that. For number seven, I had a set. I had a setting spray. Um, last time it was the Catrice Illuminating Setting Spray. It was like barely anything left in it. And that that same day or that during that same update, I told you once that's gone, I'm gonna start working on this Cover FX Illuminating Setting Spray. And that's what I did. I started working on this guy. Um, last time this weighed 152 grams. Today this weighed 144 grams. Six grams of pro of you know product used up. Not too bad. Um, I was planning on emptying this into the Catrice bottle. Come to find out, you cannot take the top off of the Catrice bottle, so it stayed in here. I did replace the, the nozzle, um, or like the this this part, the mister part, because this was broken, the cover effects one was broken. I replaced it with one by from Urban Decay, so I have to go very light-handed because it kind of shoots a little bit, and it is really illuminating. Um, I just need to reach for it more. I know I'll probably be able to finish a setting spray for sure, but I just haven't been reaching for it. Um, I need to work on this a little bit more. It really would be nice to get it out. Number eight, I had the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder, um, uh, the Mattifying Loose Powder. Last update, this weighed 51 grams, and today it weighed 48 grams, so three grams of product. Not too bad. Um, I like it, but I do find that it's kind of like, um, I don't want to say chunky, but kind of chunky. Um, and if I use a lot of it, it like makes my face super white, but I do like the mattifying power of it. I'm going to still continue to use it. Um, my goal is still to finish it and just get it out this year. So I'm going to still work on it and hopefully I can do that. Oh shoot, I missed the Tarte Concealer. That was number five. Um, okay, I had the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer when I started the project. This was, I don't know how many grams, 29 grams. Last update, this was 25 grams, and today this is 22 grams. I'm getting there, you guys. I am getting there. Um, I did take the stopper out today, which probably is why a little bit less <laughs> 22 grams I think when I weighed it before I took the stopper it was 23 grams there's not a lot of product in here but I really don't need a lot to get the coverage that I want um, it's never taken me this long to finish a concealer I can usually fly through a concealer within like three months but this is so super coverage just like a little bit and then I'm good. It covers under my eye, highlights my face and all that. I'm going to keep working on it. Um, definitely don't want to take it into 2020. I would like to finish it in 2019. At this point, I'm not very confident that I'll be able to finish it um, and roll something else in its place because I still have one more update uh, for this project, like the fourth and final update. So I don't know. Um, if I finish it, I'll probably roll something else in and then I'll let you know when I do my uh, final update, like 
where I where I am or what I had put in or anything like that but I'm not very confident that I'll be able to finish it and put something else in yeah let's get back on track for number nine I had an eye cream the gold fade and MD bright eyes dark circle radiance concentrate eye cream when I put this guy in it was 42 grams today it's 38 grams so I've used four grams of product uh, I think I'll be able to finish it. I don't think it's going to be difficult to finish. When I d it's the kind of packaging that like um, goes up, you know, like airless pump. So the product goes up in the packaging. When I shine the light through it, I think I'm around here. But then there's the one part that's actually like the pump part. Or, you know. So <laughs> I don't think there's a lot of product in here is what I'm trying to say. I think I can finish it in 2019. That's my goal anyways. So I'm going to keep working on it. I do like it. I do like the hydration it gives under my eyes. I don't know that I've noticed much difference in like my dark circles getting brighter or anything like that. But I like the hydration part of it. So for number 10, I had the It Cosmetics Je ne sais quoi um, like lip serum thing, lip treatment. I totally forgot that this was in the project. I haven't used it since last update and that's what I have on my lips today. It does kind of give your lips your lips but better color. Is that what they say? I think so. Anyway, <laughs> so that's what I have on my lips today. The only thing that I have on my lips today, I just really need to like put it right in front of me so I can actually use it. I totally forgot that this was in the project. So for number 11 and 12, I had... Um, they were both from the same palette and that's another exciting one i finished the bronzer oh yay i i have the bronzer and the contour both in here um i told you that as soon as i finish the bronzer i am gonna declutter the palette i do not like this contour so much and i don't contour too many times um this powder over here i know i have a pen in it but it's not my favorite powder i had finished the banana shade i feel like at this point I really got my money's worth out of this palette like two products completely gone I do have a nice dip in the contour but I'm, I'm gonna just completely get rid of this palette I, I'm gonna keep it for you know to do my finale for this project and for my end of year like makeup use up video I'm gonna keep it for that but I'm not gonna use this anymore in its place I will be rolling another palette actually um, and that's the Too Faced Coco Contour Chisel to Perfection. I bought this way when it came out, so it's really old. At this point, it does not smell like chocolate anymore. Um, so I, I have a feeling that maybe it's discontinued because a lot of people have been finding this at TJ Maxx. Anyways, I would like to get some use out of it. Again, I'm gonna put in the bronzer and the contour. I kind of was going back and forth, back and forth about which um, bronzer I was going to put in. I was going to put in a Too Faced, like the, is it the dark chocolate, like the, the chocolate bronzer, not the deepest one, not the lightest one, not milk chocolate, but maybe chocolate, because they have like milk chocolate, chocolate, and dark chocolate. I was going to put in the chocolate one, but I figured, because... I figured in, instead of doing that, I'm just going to do this. The shades are pretty similar. I know I'm not going to be able to finish either of these products, but I just really want to get some use out of this. Um, hopefully, I'll be able to reach, you know, having it in the project, I'll be able to reach for the other two shades. Hopefully, um, I really need to use it. It's really old. I, I mean, it doesn't smell like chocolate anymore. Yeah. I, of course, I still have the little brush in here. I actually do really like this brush for contouring. Um, anyway, so I know my goal is not to finish it in 2019, but I really want to get some use out of it in 2019, um, just to feel good that I'm using a product that I've had forever and I always held on because I was like, oh, I really like it. I paid a lot of money for it and it's this and that. And then it got to the point where like I bought other stuff and I just didn't really use this. So it's time. I need to use it. I want to get some, some use out of it before like like the pigmentation completely is messed up all right number 13 and 14 they also were from the same palette and that was the becca afterglow palette um one was a highlighter and one is a uh, blush <laughs> i forgot the word um i'm so excited i have a 
a pretty big pan in the highlighter. This is the highlighter in the shade Moonstone. So I do have a nice pan in it. I really, really like this highlighter. I think I can finish it in 2019 if I really work on it. And then for the blush, I do have a really nice dip in there. I think, um, I just hope to hit pan in this blush. I really want to at least hit pan if not finish it before the end of the year. Um, I've made some good progress in this palette. I am gonna hold on to it once these two shades, you know, once I meet my goal on these two shades because I would like to work on the other three shades in here. Um, those, this one, oh, it's always backwards. So this one is, um, I like it as kind of a, uh, like a blush bronzer. I do occasionally use it. I do mix the two together sometimes. Depends on what is on my eyes. Like that's what I did today. I mixed the two together. Um, the middle shade is a little bit too deep for me to be a highlighter. I think that's the shade Topaz. It's supposed to be like a skin perfector press. It's a little bit too deep as a highlighter for me. I could use it on my eyes if I really wanted to. I haven't really done that. And then this guy is in the shade Rose Gold. And I do have Rose Gold in a liquid form, like a, yeah, it's a liquid form. So these two, this one and the liquid form, I, I'm, I'm considering like putting them in a future project. So I do want to get some use out of it. I do really like this Rose Gold shade. I, I think it's so pretty. <sighs> Backup products for some reason are no longer interesting to people so there you go there's the rose gold i think this would be really good for my skin tone i could definitely make some use out of it so anyways jumping way ahead um with my thought process i am working on these two the end two shades i think i'll be able to finish moonstone before the finale i want to at least hit pan in rose gold or flower child so there's there's where there's where we are at with that number 15 this is another product that i just like phew, forgot that it's in the project um stila glitter and glow uh liquid eyeshadow in the shade kitten karma total honesty i haven't used it since last uh, update it is getting that time of the year where glitter is so you know the perfect um accessory on your eyes that you can have so i'm hoping to be able to finish this guy my goal is still to finish it or for it to completely like fail on me and like dries out completely so i'm still uh, again this those two I, i'm gonna need to move to like a spot where i see them all the time so i can just get some use out of them number 16 i had rolled in the elf brow wow um this guy's i think it was you know significantly new when i did the last update um it's still got a lot of product in it i absolutely love this thing uh i do put it on first and then i'll go in with a pencil and i feel like i use way less um of a pencil my brows don't look super harsh or like a block uh, i really like it it does hold my brows in place for a really long time it has those little fibers so i like it in the front of my brows because that's usually where i have kind of like spots missing kind of gives it a little bit of thickness um so i really like it and i'm still gonna use it probably will be able to finish it before the end of the year i don't think i'm not i, I don't think that i'm gonna fail on that one so but who knows we'll see uh for number 17 i did have two products um as one item and i had finished both of them and then today i'm gonna be rolling in uh another one i had the elf brow pencil i didn't have too much of this when i put it in that's why i had two and i had the nyx uh, micro brow pencil both of these are gone yay and i'm rolling in the joa uh, precision brow pencil and this is in the shade brunette um this is i haven't used it too many times but i remember when i first used it it was like a little dry it tugged a little bit but then once i worked through that like little bit of layer it was completely fine um i have a lot of product in here i mean i could twist it but it'll take me forever it's not super waxy like um if you're familiar with the la girl la girl shady brow pencil i love that thing but that's super waxy so i fly through that like quick this guy is not waxy like that there's a lot of product in here so 
uh, it would be nice to finish it but again I don't know if I'm gonna be able to now considering that I put in the the brow wow first to thicken up my brows and then I go in with a pencil I end up using way less pencil that way but I get more of a natural brow look which I really like so we'll see I'm gonna keep working on this guy hopefully I can make some really good progress um, it would be really great to finish it in three months but who knows for number 18, I did have like two illuminating products in there. I had the Peter Thomas Roth 24 Carat Prism, I don't know, something, highlighter. And I did have the MAC uh, Strobe Cream, high, um, the shade Gold, kind of like a highlighter primer thing. I finished both of them and in their place, I am going to be rolling this guy. This is the Physician's Formula Spotlight Illuminating Primer. It does say primer, but this is way too glowy to be a primer. Um, I guess it could be a primer, but it's it's like it's it's like a highlighter. Um, let me show you real quick how like how highlighty this guy is. I'm gonna use just a little tiny bit, and this is supposed to be a dupe for the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector like backlight filter, whatever that guy is, that primer is. So there it is right, right there. See how glowy my hand is? It's kind of like a liquid highlighter. My camera cut me off. I'm not sure exactly where I was. I was saying that I've used this guy once or twice already. Um, so I don't have too much use out of it or I haven't made too much progress on it so far. I weighed it today and it weighs 38 grams. It is glass packaging. Um, it's supposed to be only 8 milliliters, 8.4 mils in here. So I don't know, this might uh, probably will take me to the end of the year to finish. But I would like to finish it, get it out. Again, this is supposed to be um, a dupe for the Becca backlight filter, primer filter, the illuminating primer that Becca has. I think this is supposed to be a dupe for it. So anyway, I'm gonna use it. I will be using it as a liquid highlighter under my foundation. So I'm not, you know, I'm not using it as a primer all over the face. And then last uh, 19, number 19, for this cat, for this, I had also three deluxe size or mini uh, primers in there. I did have the Smashbox Photo Finish Primerizer. I had the Becca Velvet Blurring Primer. And I had the Benefit, the Professional Pearl Primer. I finished all three of them. And in their place, I am rolling in this guy. This is the Bare Minerals Primer. This is the Combo Control milky face primer and it says balance on it i don't know exactly what that's supposed to be i've used this guy maybe for like a week and i remember i really really liked it um i just haven't been reaching for it just just haven't been so i decided to go ahead and put it into this project it weighs 36 grams there is a lot of product in here again i've only used it like you know handful number of times so i don't have a whole lot of progress on it but I'm gonna put it in hopefully I'll be able to like finish it at least halfway maybe get down to about 20 grams would be kind of nice we'll see um I just want to make as much progress on it uh, if I can finish it yay I'm not counting on that though <laughs> there it is there's my update I don't know exactly to date how many products I finished I believe I finished 19 so far um even like with like counting this as one and like even some product some categories or some some products i counted as one i think i finished 19 i hope um i'll have in the description box all of the products i finished to date and i'll have a list also of all the products that are ongoing still I will have uh, my intro, and my second update as well in the description box and I'll have them linked in the cards above if you'd like to catch up or if you want to just, um, if you haven't seen them and you just want to watch them or if you don't remember. Anyways, if you would like to watch them, they'll be in the cards above and they'll be in the description box below. I hope you guys enjoyed this update. If you did, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.